In late April of 2010, the presiding bishopric introduced the completion of a meeting house powered by the sun in Farmington, Utah. It's the latest environmentally friendly construction effort and the first solar powered meeting house built by the church in the Northern Hemisphere. When you operate an inventory of in excess of 17,000 buildings, you can understand that environmental issues uh, are extremely important. The meeting house is part of a pilot program created to demonstrate the church's ongoing commitment to stewardship and conservation. On April 27th, media representatives were given a tour of the facility in order to see firsthand its conservation features. The building has a highly efficient heating and cooling system that interfaces with the solar power equipment, landscaping designs, and plumbing fixtures. The result will cut water use by more than 50 percent. Special treated windows keep cool air in during the summer months and promote solar warmth in the winter. Each building is designed to last and will use the latest advancements in efficiency. These technologies also extend into the landscaping of the grounds surrounding the chapel. Moisture sensors monitor weather conditions and shut off sprinkler systems during rainfall, while other landscape design requires no water at all. We're anxious to be good stewards of that which the Lord has blessed us with. And we have always been anxious to be good stewards. Over the years, examples of conservation efforts by the church include capture systems of rainwater in the Pacific, well water cooling systems in the church office building, geothermal heat for chapels, and motion sensors to cut electricity use in church buildings. Along with the Farmington location, there are four other meeting house prototypes currently under construction in Utah, Arizona, and two locations in Nevada.